Hey guys, it's Nick here, and I've had a few DMs over the past few days on how I transformed my old Casa node into a My node. If you don't know, me and others have done this because Casa is no longer supporting their nodes, so we had to move on to something different. My node's just a great service, it's super easy to use, it's super simple, so it was perfect for transforming this um, old Casa node into. This whole process is incredibly easy and it will not take as long, it will not take you long at all. When I first did this, I had a friend help me over text and it took no time at all and everything went super smoothly. So let's just jump right into it without any further delay. We're just gonna unplug everything. So we just have the box left. So what we're doing with this right now is we're just gonna open it up. This is a Casa Node 1, by the way. We're just gonna open it up. And what we're doing is we're retrieving that right there. It's the micro USD card. I normally have trouble getting out with my hands, so I just use a pair of tweezers. I pull it out and there we go. We have the USD card and now we can move on to the next step that involves our computer. Another quick thing to add, if your uh, computer cannot take micro USD cards to read them so you can pull it up, you're gonna need to go out and buy something like this. This is just, it was like 10, 20 bucks at uh, Best Buy. It's something so you can just plug in your SD card and then it'll be able to read it on your computer. So now we just plug in the USD card into the computer. And as you can see here, it'll come up something. It should be either this or something like this. Mine says boot parentheses E colon uh, and parentheses. These are all the files in it. You don't have to do anything. I don't re recommend changing anything. Just leave it how it is. I didn't change anything or delete anything. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up my node and go to mynodebtc.com slash download. When you get to this page, you're gonna scroll down to step one, download image. They have this whole thing. It's just like three or four easy steps, super simple. And you're gonna find your image. Now what your image is for my uh, CASA node, I had a Raspberry Pi 3 in it. I know that may be kind of old and a lot of people may have the Raspberry Pi 4 now or one of these other options, but I'm just gonna download this, let it download, and I'm actually gonna cancel it because I actually already have it pre-downloaded for this video. So we're gonna minimize this. Actually, open it back up, excuse me. We're gonna scroll down so the next step is download software like Belina Etcher, probably butchered that, but we need to flash the US, I mean not the USD, the SD card, we need to flash it. So you can either use this provided software. The first time I did it, I used this, it's called Rufus. Same, it does the same thing, it does not matter what you download. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna download this, which I've already done, and we're gonna open it up. So this is what it'll look like. When this opens up, you're gonna click on this um, and just click on the My Node Raspberry Pi 3 if it's not already there. And then select your target. This is my SD card. Hit continue, and we're gonna flash. So this is going to put the my node onto the SD card. It's gonna format everything correctly. You don't need to do anything. Just let it run, let it do its thing. And I will be back after it is done flashing. So now the flash is complete as you can see here. And there's nothing 
else we need to do except take out the SD card from the computer, place it in the node, hook the node up to your ethernet and get that all set up. And then we'll actually jump back on the computer for the very final step. So after we're done with that, we take the USD card and we just come over here and plug it back in, just like that. Put the cut on, put this back on with the C facing this way. And then we would continue to just plug everything back in and get it ready to plug back into your router or wherever you keep your node at. And boom. So once you get everything plugged back in and set up, you're gonna to wanna to go to your uh, your search bar and type in mynode.local. And then when you hit search and look it up, you can either you know search it from here or go down to here and scroll down to the bottom and see right here, http colon slash slash mynode.local. That will take you to this page. Now, I already have all my stuff set up just because this is my own personal node that I have been using for a while. Um, but you should go through, it should pop up that you will go through a small, quick, super simple startup. Um, you know, you'll make a password, you'll get, you know, some of your info set up super simple, super easy, and you're done. After that, and you get to this screen, you can start using it. Uh, this is the paid version. So I do have, you know, Caravan, Dojo, Whirlpool that I can all set up and I can, you know, use some of the other features. And that's pretty much it for this video. I really wanna thank you for watching this. Um, if you could drop a subscription and a like, down below. I'd really appreciate it. It um, really encourages me to keep making more videos as well as Bitcoin Magazine in general. And yeah, peace.